So you may recall some of my earlier attempts to seal the convertible top on my Eclipse Spider. I checked the web high and low to see if there's any information about spraying a canvas top of plastic dip to see if that would do the trick. I really couldn't find any information out there, so I just decided to try it myself. Turns out, it didn't really seal the top, but it did make the top look a lot better. I consider that a win. Next up, I tried Rust-Oleum Never Wet. This stuff did exactly what it was supposed to do, but it was no match for a good, long, hard rain. After a couple of hours, there would be water that would soak through. It would collect in the header and then of course as anybody who has a clip spider knows you'd get that little surprise shower of the first corner you took. The problem is that this is a canvas top and it's old and canvas is porous but from the factory it's sealed on the inside with a rubber coating and since it's old well, that rubber coating, like all rubber stuff that gets subjected to, you know, heat cycles and UV rays, it turns to dust. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. So the last thing to try before replacing the top would be to replace the non-porous rubber seal on the inside of the top. To do this, I decided to try a product called Flex Seal. You've probably seen the infomercials late at night where they cut the bottom of a boat out and put some window screen in there and then coat it with this flex seal stuff. I thought, uh, you know, maybe it'll work for a canvas roof. So what you're gonna need besides the flex seal, some brushes, a little paint can, and something to clean up with, I used uh, mineral spirits, uh, is a device to uh, remove as much of the original lining as you possibly can. I used a uh, 3M paint stripping wheel and it worked amazingly well. I also used sandpaper to get anywhere that that paint stripping wheel wouldn't fit. Now you're gonna want to get as much of this stuff off as you possibly can. Underneath all of the ribs, all the way to the edges, and all the way to the corners. I was conflicted as to whether or not I should do all of this work with the canvas on the car or canvas off of the car. With the canvas off the car, I could ensure that I removed all the old material and that the flex seal covered the inside completely, from edge to edge, corner to corner. The downside to that would be that the top would not be stretched as it would when it is on the car. So I decided to do all the work with the top in place. It was a little extra work to get all the old material off and get the new seal all the way down into the corners and in the edges, but I think it was worth it. I sealed the main panels first and let them dry for 24 hours before coming back in and doing the smaller detail areas. I paid extra special attention and worked a little bit harder to get underneath that header all the way up as far as I could and all the way to the corners as best I could. I wrapped each of the ribs in wax paper so that the flex seal wouldn't stick to them when it cured. To get the flex seal underneath all the ribs and between the wide straps and the canvas, you'll have to open the top about halfway. Afterward, you'll want to close the top up tight so that the canvas stretches out while the flex seal cures. Oh, and one other thing, cover your entire interior with some sort of drop cloth because this will get messy. So for 30 bucks and a weekend's worth of work, I think I finally have a fully sealed top.